Hello guys, this is a genuine and true story of a guy who battled through much suffering before receiving the Padma Bhushan Award, the third highest civilian award in the Republic of India for his contributions. Rocketry The Nambi Effect, a film based on the real life events of Nambi Narayanan. Let's get your beer and get started. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Cheers. In the present, Nambi discusses the events leading to his development as a renowned engineer to allegations of espionage, physical abuse, and mental brutality against him in an interview with Bollywood star Shah Rukh Khan on a television channel. Nambi begins by describing his experiences at the Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station, where he prevents one of his teammates, A.P.J. Abdul Kalam, from suffering a serious injury while participating in an experiment. Professor Luigi Crocco, who recommended Nambi for the NASA Fellowship, saw to see that he successfully completed his MSc program in chemical rocket propulsion. But after a brief stay at NASA working with Barry Amaldiv, he is given a sizable salary and other benefits. He then succeeds in obtaining 400 million pounds worth of equipment for nothing from Scotland. He did not, however, receive sufficient assistance from ISRO or funding from the Indian government to continue his research after the unexplained death of Vikram Sarabhai. In an effort to replicate France's cutting-edge technology back in India, he then relocates there with his co-workers. Nambi and his 52 companions pretend they do not understand the French despite the fact that they have studied French before their tour. Nambi's team seeks to figure out how to get access to these meetings and test date after being excluded from their important conversations. At that point, they learn that the French engine is broken. The team then leaves for India and begins developing a custom engine that runs on liquid fuels. However, it takes another eight years to finish due to a shortage of funding. At the same testing facility in France, the engine is put through its paces, reaching pressures of up to 180. Nambi's ideas are carried out, and he returns to India after dubbing the engine Vikas in honor of his instructor, Vikram Sarabhai. Nambi is currently concentrating on cryogenic engines because he thinks they will enable India to compete in the global satellite industry. Nambi chooses to buy these engines from another nation knowing the time and resource constraints on ISRO. He makes a deal with the SSR after telling them that his Russian contact in Princeton had briefed him about their cryogenic weapons. He asks for the importation of four of them to India. The Americans learn about this agreement after the Russians accept and make every effort to void it. Nambi and his team work with the assistance of the Russians to speed up the transfer procedure as the SSR is on the verge of collapsing and steal a few engines from the Americans. Nambi is unexpectedly detained in India while word of his betrayal spreads like wildfire. In an effort to force him to confess to his purported misdeeds, he is transported to a guest home in Trivendrum and beaten and tortured there. He also realizes that there is a recording device in the room and that the officials are attempting to have him repeat their words. Nambi, however, stands his ground and refutes all accusations. Nambi allegedly met Mariam, a Maldivian woman, in a hotel in Chennai and, after falling for her trap, was compelled to sell Pakistan India's rocketry secrets. Nambi is met by CBI official P. M. Nair after being hospitalized for his wounds, and he conducts a comprehensive investigation. Nair enters the room with Mariam, her companion, and a few other people. Gopal, the Kerala police officer in charge of the inquiry, allegedly harassed, tormented, and coerced Mariam and her friend into falsely accusing Nambi, who they had never met before. They also express regret to Nambi for hurting him and his family and destroying his reputation. Nair comes to the conclusion that this case was a massive plot by certain influential parties to obstruct India's advancement in the cryogenic industry after discovering that all of the defendants in it were ISRO cryogenic wing. When Nambi is released on bond many months later, he finds his family members horrified by how they were treated when he gets home. 
Mina, Nambi's wife, needs psychiatric assistance, while the rest of his family is still despised by society. Nambi makes the decision that he must clear his record in order for his family to resume their normal life in the future. After the Supreme Court rules that Nambi is innocent years later, he rejoins ISRO and assists his co-workers with the Mangalayan project. The Padma Bhushan is later given to Nambi in recognition of his services to Indian space research. This is must movie to watch. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Cheers.